The local audiology clinic is going viral on TikTok for its canal clearing procedure called ear irrigation. Now it's when trapped earwax is removed with water pressure, oftentimes restoring full hearing for patients. I know it probably has a ooh factor for you, but this morning we are live with Dr. Ellie Poiself at Memorial Hearing with a look at how it works. Good morning to you. For anyone who's not familiar with this, can you walk us through and tell us what is ear irrigation and, and why you would want to undergo it? Absolutely. So people build wax for many reasons and we can remove it in many ways. We can stick a little, you know, uh, scoop in your ear, light a curette, we can suction it out. But irrigation in particular is kind of nice because it just washes it out really quickly. And the machine that we use warms up the water. So it allows the patient to have their ears washed quickly without causing dizziness, without causing any irritation, and without making them feel queasy or sick. Okay, so you said it's quick. Like, how quickly is that? How long does it take? I mean, honestly, sometimes the wax comes out in a matter of like five to eight to 10 seconds, where with other methods, you can sit there and pick at it and pick at it and you know suction it and can take 30 minutes. I'm not saying it's like this every time, but for the most part, it can take a matter of like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and the biggest chunks of wax will just come right out. It's, it's really amazing. Now, how do you know that you might wanna undergo something like this if it really needs to be done? So most of the time people, like what's become kind of popular now is just people want to get their ears clean just because they think so. But truly, if you feel like you're not hearing well, if you feel like you're muffled, you feel like your ears, um, how, would you, how would you describe how people always say it? They're stopped up. Stopped up, like cutting in the ears, yeah. right. Um, then that's kind of the probably first sign of you probably should get your ears checked. And do you have a patient there who's undergoing it or going to undergo it that we see? We do, we uh -huh. have a lovely model. Would you like to tell them your name? My name is Lauren. Okay, put the you? mic on her. <laughs> this oh, is Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> she's, our, she's our model from next door. Dr. Hamlin is a dentist, so she's just modeling for us. But apparently she has some wax, so we're gonna take a look. Yes. Well, she's a good sport. <laughs> so show us how it would work. <laughs> okay, so basically the first thing we do is look at the ears. Um, can you give me a second a little yes, bit? Sorry, absolutely. that's been prepared. And then the next thing we normally do, which we've done, is to make sure there's not a perforation or hole in the eardrum, because if there is water, um, and then the blue one, if you don't mind. Surely. This is Dr. Wiggins. She's, Hello. she's another doctor here and <laughs> my assistant for today. Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry. Anyhow, um, so we look in the ears. And while you're getting that ready, I'm just wondering if it can actually help hearing, if, if it gets rid of that muffled sound you were talking about. Can you pull up a test patient? Surely. Yes, yeah, so there are some people who literally have come here thinking they have hearing loss and that they need hearing aids. That's how much hearing loss they feel like they have. You can have up to a moderate degree of hearing loss just from wax impaction alone. So let's say you already have like very little normal hearing, maybe a mild hearing loss already, and then you have wax impaction, you can have a severe hearing loss, most of it due to just earwax. And is your lovely patient there going to feel any pain when you do it? No, if there was pain, honestly, we wouldn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. We're like, we went into audiology because we don't like pain, we don't like to see <laughs> blood. We, we pick like the cleanest of all the medical stuff that you can do. Yeah. And so part of this, and this is part of, partially why we started using this particular machine is because it doesn't cause pain. Most people you'll see are, like if you go on our TikTok, you see everybody going like this, and we always say, are you in pain? They're like, no, it just tickles. All right, well, we're going to let her um, get her procedure in peace because, you know, it might be a little of a private thing going <laughs> on there. Thank you for your time this morning and showing us how it all works. Thank you. All right.